Hello and welcome to this CERN and Millennium e-learning training video delivered by the IMNT training team. Today we're focusing on PowerChart and in particular how to set up a default note type within documentation. Now as shown on screen, I'm sure everybody's come to that frustrating situation where they get to create a document in Cerner and there's a yellow mandatory field asking them to set assign a note type and more often than not most people will set up the same note template and the note type every single time so first of all we'll be showing how to set that up where it's automatically populated and also we'll move on to how to create a list of options where it will store into your personal filter option before beginning, just a quick note, a prerequisite is you will need to be into your patient's record within PowerChart. To get into writing your note, very often most people will come down the side of the components menu and find an option that says select other note. You then put onto the following page and it's from this page that most people appears with the type mandatory field box here and as we're already aware type is the folder that this note saves into and most people have been selecting it this way to locate their option but unfortunately after selecting that option it won't save the next time you come here and again you'll have to reset this instead of doing this what you need to do is come up to your grey toolbar on top where it says view, select that and go to the option at the bottom of the list that says customize. From here you can assign your default note type, this is the one that it will constantly set to. So I'm going to say I'm a cardiology outpatient clinician and my standard is cardiology consult note but then from time one time to the next, I might use the cardiology outpatient letter or a GP letter note. Possibly I could use the progress note. And let's say every now and again I use the phone message option. So I've got three options in there. I'm now going to save that by selecting OK. I'll now close down the patient's record, research my patient, I'm not, I'll now go again to add a new document and then you can see my default cardiology consult note has already appeared there. Now to view my list of options from the other note types, I switch this to personal, which it already has done. And if I use the drop down, you'll notice I've got my GP letters, form message and progress note all saved in there. Thank you for watching this QRG on the Cerner Millennium Power Chart System. For more videos, please go to the ALHT IMT Training Team YouTube channel. On there, you'll find playlists relevant to certain job roles and also your kind of ad hoc individual videos.